Hi and hello everybody welcome to Sitch Classroom. Today in this uh, tutorial I am going to show you as to how you can start an index of an array in LabVIEW from one. At the outset uh, I have created two arrays. Uh, one I have made it look as though it, uh, it is starting from one that is on to my right and on to my left I have the conventional array for whom the indices start from 0. So just copied the values of array into array 2. Okay, so let me just get started and show you as to how this is done. It's pretty straightforward. I have created two arrays here, array and array 2. Let's start afresh. So I am creating two arrays here. Let me remove the index display. To remove the index display, right click on the array and choose visible items and index display. It will just vanish. And next part is you need to create a numeric control. Create a numeric control. Remove the label. Put it aside the array 2 as though it is your index button, index increment or decrement button. Now right click, choose data entry. Under the data entry, uncheck the use data limits value. You have a minimum value of minus infinity, remove that and make it 1. And view OK now. And now right click on the numeric value go to data operations and choose reinitialize to default value by default it is uh, 0 here so you need to give an increment of 1 right click go to data operations and choose make current value default now you can see that this does not go below 1 uh, 1 here it doesn't go into 0 so this part is done. Aesthetically, this part is done. Now, how do you make uh, this numeric control respond to your array? So, I have this numeric control here. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Go to the numeric uh, functions. Choose subtract. Connect the x value to the numeric and at the y terminal, right click and choose create constant change this constant to be 1. Now again right click here, go to array, choose the build array option. Auto wire it. Now right click on the array 2, go to create property node and then index values. Now index values are in read mode now change everything to right right click on it and give change all to right why are the index values to the appended array that's what you are done now so what i will do just for the sake of fun i'll copy the value of array 1 to array 2 here so to do that right click create property node value. Now this will be in uh, read mode. Now array 2 right click create property node value. 
I change array two to right and then wire these two both. Now let me give some uh, haphazard values. I'll run it once or run continuously. Now you see that values of array as well, array one has been copied to array two. This is immaterial. This is just a demonstration to show that as to how you can start your array values from one instead of the zero. But one thing you should remember clearly is that this does not reference the zeroth element here. One doesn't mean that it references the first uh, element of an array. It still represents the zeroth element of an array. Let me give you a, to show a demonstration of that. So let me index the values. Index array. For, let me use the index array function. Wire the array, and now create an index. Constant. I'll make it one, and create an in indicator at the element level. Okay. Now I have the element here. So let me just run it. If you see here, the zeroth element is three. The zeroth element is still the three. It does the one here doesn't mean that you are referencing the first index of an array. It just this is just for aesthetic uh, values on your front panel. In some cases, which you don't want to make your array look as though you are incrementing from zero. But whenever you reference an array, you still need to do it from zero. I have anyway enclosed the uh, VA for this along with the video description. Thanks for watching. Take care. I hope this was useful. Bye bye.